In uh, this video, I will focus on using um, ArcGIS Online and Story Map tool to tell stories based on our data. So if we um, look at what we have collected until now, we have uh, some uh, different down here, uh, um, some different um, elements. So we have our data elements and we have a single map. That's what a, going to be the basis of our story map. So I'll go up to the nine dots where we have our applications and choose story map. Here it will ask us to create a story. And um, let's call our story for a sustainable campus. Okay. Um, and I can add a intro video or image i'll just use an image and use this uh, somewhat sinister uh, image of the campus here um, from an article about um, corona and druk but so um, here we have our nice elements here um, if we scroll down there's a little plus so um, this is where we can start adding elements you can see we can add text we can add headlines, quotes, bullet points, buttons that could do different things, uh, images, maps, um, guided tours where you go through a map point by point, um, things like that. Uh, embedded so we can embed uh, videos in um, from YouTube or whatever. So, um, Let's um, just have it um, a heading, so to say. Um, it starts with a conceptual model. And then underneath that, I might add an image of um, our conceptual model for this this approach here that's this one here so um and then um i could put a caption on it i can uh, change it to uh to be float or medium or whatever so I make it a bit larger and i will have a uh, a new uh, a caption saying here we a a digital representation model, and um, we um, up there we will, and then I can add my image of a digital representation model of this. I think I put one up in pictures here. Yeah. So uh, and um, and then we can say okay. From there we um, we created a map, so we can insert a map, and uh, we have this simple map here. That um, and uh, yeah, we can place them, that map and. Uh, we could even uh, add a zoomed version of the map. So I'll take uh, my map again. And this time I'll basically just zoom in. Um, be a bit careful not zooming too far in because then I get uh, old image before we got our solar panels on the roof. So I'll leave it here. Um, I think I'll focus it like that. So this is a JS room. Um, and you can see, um, and then I can uh, write some stories about how this was created or whatever. Um, and once I'm finished with that, I can preview my image or my story map. So this is what it will look like on a web browser. And we can see our different maps and the different zoom levels. And these are live maps. So if I click on the little symbol there and you can even see I have my attachment um, from earlier so I've got all of these things I can preview them and also what would it look like on a tablet 
so um, so how would this uh, how would my uh, how would this die function on the tablet once I'm finished I just bring it back to edit mode and um, and I can then choose to publish it so uh, and again here if you want to publish it outside um, our, um, our institution you'll just ask me to enable this function here to everyone so I'll just uh, do it or I can um, do it in a group so I can uh, publish it to the GIS and visualization group and um, and then publish my story um, oh I will just do it for myself so I have my story and uh, what has happened now is that of course this has a link but I can also see it if I go into my uh, in my all content and you can see that this is my sustainable and it's up here and uh, we have again we can write in comments on it and uh, and I will just uh, move it to my uh, test folder where I have all of these things so it's nice to have it nice and ordered so now hopefully my story lives down together with all the data down in my test data so that was the simple steps in creating a story map using um, the ArcGIS online tools